Hi, my name is Christoph and welcome to the Quixotry Workshop. Today we're going to speak about something very interesting and uh, you've all heard about 3D printing and maybe some of you have 3D printers and some of you want a 3D printer. Maybe there's some of you that never heard of 3D printing. But this is an example of something that, that was conceived. My wife had this idea. She wanted uh, something to, to blow a lot of bubbles, a big bubble and a lot of small bubbles at once. So you dip it into a surface solution and you just swipe it through the air and out comes the bubbles. So this is a, a 3D printed object. Um, <clears throat> I, I drew it up in 3D software and it was 3D printed on a printer. And today I want to show you my own 3D printer that just arrived and I'm going to unbox it and set it up and maybe this video can give you some more insights on a first-hand experience if you don't have a 3D printer yet and you, you want to buy one maybe it will give you some advice and insights I don't have a lot of experience, I have a little bit of experience and so it's also very new to me but without any further ado let me start by taking this thing out of the box first impression is that this uh, 3D printer is very well packed. It was double boxed with double thickness cardboard, so it's four layers of cardboard. Very sturdy uh, box, very, uh, a lot of padding and it looks very neatly packed. Let's try and find the um, instructions, I think there's a booklet there. Okay. It is very important to first read the instructions. Now everything is out of the box and um, I'm ready to, to start assembling. It's a couple of uh, already assembled parts that just needs to be a, uh, attached to the frame, the main frame. So the base, the biggest part here is where all the electronics are included into and integrated very everything is neatly closed and packed away first impressions very good uh, a very very sturdy um, construction very uh, robust and everything looks very well thought out and very neat number one this is pillar number one. Okay. As you can see here, uh, it's very simple. Um, it's steps, steps uh, with pictures. Um, they've really dumbed it down. Uh, although there's a lot of detail that they don't tell you, but it is not hard to figure it out. Side. 
after step one and two, which was basically unpacking everything and uh, bolting the, the first path together, the rest of the steps, um, every part is numbered and all you have to do is connect the numbers to each other and tighten the bolts. This uh, whole assembly was actually previously assembled in the factory and they just dismantled it um, after they tested it. So everything should fit and be ready. You can follow me through every step. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot, but you can just follow me going through the steps. So there you can see number one there. And there's a number one on this part. And there's a there's already a, a bolt that's in there. And this bracket with grip screws on that side. So and there's a hole right through that from the underneath you can access it with the Allen key. So I need to turn this on its side and get the right Allen key tools out of the box. Very nice wrenches. So it's a good idea to, before I put this on, to tighten, to make sure these are tightened. Because things could have uh, rattled and moved during the transport. Step three is tighten the locking bolt clockwise, then install the Zeta access pillar into the base on the other side of the printer. Okay, so basically what I did here, I'm going to do on the other side now also. So this one goes to where number two is marked two and two. So I did the same on the other side, um, I put the pillar in on the place where the stickers are marked 2 and 2 and then there's a sticker here 3 and 3 and this part um, I removed the little end cap and it just needs to slide over and into this other side. The next step is after sliding the X axis in place, um, let's say note, please double check the Z and X pillars, make sure both are placed properly and secured. Should the gauge is steady and solid.
So the next step is to add these um, strengthen bars, they call them strengthen bars in this brochure um, and they get attached here with two bolts and these little T, T nuts that slots into the channel and gets tightened with two Allen screws at the top and at the bottom. Now there's this little rubber insert that goes in here and it keeps this cable uh, from falling out of the channel and it just pushes in easily like that and then all that is left now is to connect all the wiring they're all marked so it's very easy they just clip in this is actually a very easy assembly So before, before I do that, it's important to remove all these um, packaging things that's underneath between the bed and the construction there. There were exactly three of them. Then uh, this bracket for the that holds the plastic reel gets uh, attached here at the top and um, it's just two bolts that also has the T nuts that slots into the channel very easy to, to get in and fasten it So the next few steps is to level this um, and I say you have to rotate these these two until you are on these white lines to make sure that they are completely level There's this little uh, retractable reel that they included, they call it a badge reel. Um, basically it, it helps to keep the cable out of the way, um, it retracts and keeps the excess cable up and out of the way and it just attached, attaches to the, the plastic reel holder. Now I've decided to rather 
uh, put it with a cable tie um, because then it actually pulls down, it doesn't pull at an angle. So, but it's up to you, you can do whatever you want. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it, it helps you if you also want to buy a 3D printer. Um, thank you for the guys from Gadget Tech Trading that helped me uh, with the purchase of this uh, 3D printer. Um, I can highly recommend them for your 3D printing needs. And please remember to subscribe and hit that like button and uh, also the, activate the bell so that you are alerted when I upload a new video. Have a great week. Thank you.